Good morning, Ryan. I got your message last night on Facebook about asking how to add custom materials to your renders. And you wanted to make like certain woods, antlers, or bone. Um, it is possible to do in Matrix. And one of the things you need to do is you need to learn about mapping of your materials, which helps a lot, a lot in making sure things get applied the way that you want them to. If you remember back in class, when we did the cabochons, we went, we touched on this briefly at that same point in time. So I'm going to use that same basic example. If you notice here, I've made my own little custom cabochon here, and I want it to look like a rutilated quartz. But we have nothing like that in the library here of render materials at all that would even come close to looking like a rutilated quartz. And in particular, I want it to look like the rutilated quartz my customer brought in to have me set in their piece which is this related quartz. I actually just went out and found a picture online. A nice high-res picture. All right, so we're going to use this as our example. This is the material that we're going to apply to my cabochon. Minimize that. So to start off with, what I would normally do, of course, put the ground plane down for the render purpose. I'm going to apply turquoise. Now, when we apply the turquoise, You'll notice, and I'm going to switch back and forth here to another one first. And I have to find my turquoise. Bum, 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 bum. It's here somewhere. Right there. All right, so before I click on it, if you notice, when I've got a regular gem material, it comes up in the color option, and it gives me one of my refraction and color options here that I can change around. But when I choose the turquoise, it's now got an opaque image as its option, and it has a map here. Um, over in this corner. So if I click on this box with the blue material, it gives me the option to go search for where the map for this material lives. Now, before we get to that point, let's go ahead and do a quick render. We've applied this material, so we've got our bleached out turquoise. We want to change that to my rutilated quartz. So again, I'll click on this button here over by the map. I'm going to go searching for my picture right there. All right. And then I'm going to reapply the material. I'm going to do this in the looking down view. All right. So now we're going to see where this can become a problem. So let's go ahead and click render. And I'm going to pull up my picture as well off of the side here. Well, it kind of sort of did it, but it, this does not look like my image. The reason being is that it's looking at the UV mapping of the surface that it's attaching to. And it, since this is made with a rail revolve, that surface goes in a circle like a sphere would. So it's trying to apply this in a circular pattern and bending it all up. Well, we can fix that. Some materials, this works okay but not everything in my opinion. So let's close that render window out and we're going to select my cabochon object. I'm going to type in the command apply and then I'm going to look for planar mapping. All right. Next thing, let's read the command line. First corner of the plane. So we basically need to draw a box around our object. And just to make this easy, I'm going to use the center option. And I'm going to choose F4. And then I'm just going to make this box uh, just a little bit bigger than my piece. And click. Next thing in the command line, it's asking you for your UV directions. I go with the default. I just hit enter. And the same thing with the mapping widget um, channel. So let's go ahead and click enter again. All right, we've already had the material applied. This is looking at that picture and now adjusted to match that box that we just created. So let's go ahead and click the render button. And it switched over to perspective view. So let me do this again from looking down, but take note of this black around the outside edge. All right, 
that's a lot better. That looks a lot closer to my picture here. But we no, don't, don't don't want this black on the outside edges here. And the reason why it's doing that is because there's black on the outside ed edges of our image. So to fix that, highlight our object. And we want to type in another command, mapping widget. And if you look here, we've got two different options here, mapping widget and mapping widget off. Once we're done with this first one, we're going to want to come back and use the second one. So let's go ahead and hit enter. All right, it's asking us for our channel. We'll just click enter since it's, we use the default. And let me turn off this ground plane just so we can see what's going on. So now we've got this little box that represents the um, planar mapping that we had created originally. We can use our gumball handles to make that a little bit bigger if we wanted to. Okay, let me put my ground plane back down and let's re-render it. And we don't have to apply the material again after each one of these. And now, just by stretching that picture out a little bit more, we get rid of that black and gives us a more like what we were trying to accomplish. So let's do this in a perspective view now so we can see this from its side. And do the render. And you can see that that now comes all the way through that material. Okay, so let's go back to my looking down view. So again, to get rid of this box, you can keep adjusting this. You can rotate it and do whatever you need to, to it, and it will adjust the, the way the image is applied to this object. But when you're done, let's go ahead and highlight the object. Mapping widget oh, off. And now it's gone. <laughs> And that will get yeah. saved with your object. Together. So if you were to bring that back out of a job bag, let's do a file new. Um, to communicate those items which have been approved. We'll open up that object again. And, and I'm just going to um, hit the render and, button. Um, Deborah and I are going to bring this tomorrow. There we are. It knows that it still has that same material applied to it and how it gets applied to it. I hope that helped. Um, Again, apply planar mapping originally, and you do that in the looking down view. And then it's the mapping widget yes. and mapping widget off commands after that. I hope that helps, sir. Take care, and I hope everything's going good. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.